Hey guys, today we're going through some basic tips that will hopefully allow you to win more solo matches in the game Hunt Showdown. I will say this right off the bat, that these aren't all my own tips. I picked up various strategies from my own personal experience, watching other gamers and streamers, and the Hunt Showdown Steam page. So if you're new to the game, then these tips will help you succeed, and if you've already experienced the game from the close alpha, or you've played other shooters like this before, then these tips may still help you if you're willing to stick around. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with tip number one, use your knife or the butt of your gun or a machete to silently melee zombies. Not only will this keep you off the radar from other players listening to gunshots, but it will also keep you from saying, I need to fight some ammunition. <sighs> tip number two is to only shoot when you have to. Remember, this is a tactical game, so you need to take things slow and be very careful. For the most part, it's best to crouch silently around zombies and save your ammo for unexpected dogs, hives, and other players on the map. From Steam, I also learned that the axes and sledgehammers you can pick up will destroy doors in one hit, even barricaded ones. In addition, shooting a door can cause it to swing open. On top of this, if you sprint at a door with a charged melee, you will open it much faster and are basically able to essentially run into a room without waiting for it to fully open. Finally, to return to the stealth idea behind this tip, doors open more quietly when you're crouched. Tip number three is to stand still while aiming. So many other FPS games will tell you to strafe left or right to avoid taking damage in a firefight, and that just doesn't work in this game. The iron sights tend to wobble around a bunch if you're moving, and you're just going to whiff the shots you take if you can't see. Tip number four is try to aim for the head. I say try because zombies tend to move very quickly in this game, but the sheer fact says that headshots do the most damage on any weapon you can use, so you'll be saving ammo and quickly eliminating your foes. Obviously, this also works for player enemies as well. Tip number five, you can run away from beehives if you see them coming and they aren't already attacking you, or if they already are attacking you, you can rapidly melee the butt of your gun to make them go away. Both of these are good alternatives if you don't have an antidote shot, but I recommend keeping one on hand at all times. Actually, after writing this out, the best strategy is to just charge the hive, shoot it, and then bash it with the butt of your gun, because once you kill the hive, the flies will go away immediately. This has actually saved me a lot more than swatting the flies away with the butt of my gun, but the strategy still works. You just need to have a lot of health in your arsenal. Tip number six is to use clues as bait. It seems that in solo matches, all the players on the map tend to spawn really close to the blue dots in dark side that let you know that clues are in the area. So try to wait it out so that even if someone does take the clue, you'll know they're in the vicinity and can eliminate a potential future foe. Tip number seven, you can actually extract the map very early on if you just want to kill zombies and get XP. This may allow you to just XP in money farm. And for the eighth and final tip, stay away from giant brutes. If you have to go toward them, move away very quickly as they sometimes continue to charge you even though they're damaged. Alright, so I gave you all these tips, and I know everyone wants to have the right to claim I want a match by myself. And I get that, but I need you to understand that just having these tips doesn't guarantee a solo win right away, or at all. There needs to be a mix of skill and luck. And with that guys, these are all the solo tips I was able to find on my own and from other sources that I didn't see anywhere else already. Using these tips, I myself have gotten closer and closer to extracting in solo lobbies, but the garbage truck will usually run through in the end and ruin my chances. Hopefully these tips help you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Triple Forge Matt is out.
Ah, close, close, close. 